Hello everyone! Want to see how sturgeon caviar is farmed and processed in factories? First, we'll visit the sturgeon farm where all the fish are being raised. Sturgeon is the common name for 27 species of fish in the family Aspenceridae. Sturgeons are long-lived, late-maturing fish. Their average lifespan is 50 to 60 years and their first spawn does not occur until they are 15 to 20 years old. A single female can release 100,000 to 3 million eggs, but not all will be fertilized. Fertilized eggs become sticky and stick to the bottom layer after contact. It takes 8 to 15 days for the embryo to develop into a larval fish. During that time, they depend on their yolk sac for nourishment. In their first year of growth, they reach a length of 18 to 20 centimeters. They typically inhabit cold water and can reach a size of up to 6 feet long and 2 feet wide. In lakes, it's been known to reach 8 feet in length and 310 pounds in weight. The average age of a 3 foot sturgeon is 8, 12 years for a 4 foot sturgeon and 23 years for a 6 foot sturgeon. The sturgeon are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat just about anything they can find. This includes small fish, crustaceans, insects, and even plants. They can grow to approximately 4 feet long and can weigh up to 250 pounds. When the sturgeon reach 3 feet in length, they catch some fish and send them to the factory's lab to be tested for eggs. This pregnancy test is done through ultrasonography. A sample of sturgeon eggs is then taken from the stomach of the sturgeon and analyzed in the laboratory. Only the fish eggs that are suitable for consumption are sent to the processing factory for egg collection. After that, skilled workers of the factories cut the belly of sturgeon fish and collect its eggs. In this case, care must be taken to ensure that the eggs are not damaged. Sturgeon spawning focuses a lot more on quality than quantity. A female can lay up to 700,000 eggs. Sturgeon eggs are used for caviar. Caviar is considered a delicacy and is eaten as a garnish or spread. Caviar runs at about $50 to $75 per ounce. That's about enough for a few bites shared between two people. Serious Eats reports. First, they clean the pieces of sturgeon roe well with water. Then, factory workers separate the collected sturgeon roe through a sieve. In this case, they must be careful not to spoil the eggs. So they do this work very slowly and so beautifully as if it's an art. These separated eggs are called caviar. You'll be surprised to hear, the albino sturgeon sells for up to $800 per ounce. There are also other quality factors including texture, with firmness having a higher value. Egg cleaning is done in two steps in the factory. Caviar is cleaned first with water and then with shampoo. Firstly, the workers clean the caviar thoroughly with water so that there is no dirt on the caviar and no bad smell on them. Secondly, the caviar is washed with water and then cleaned with shampoo to destroy all microorganisms present in the caviar. In this case, the caviar is cleaned for up to 5 minutes. Once the caviar cleaning process is complete, the spoil egg detection process begins. In this case, this work is done in the laboratory of the factory, which is done by skilled workers. It's very easy to distinguish spoiled eggs from caviar because sturgeon caviar is usually black, but spoiled eggs are white. In some factories, this work is done with a robotic hand, which is more precise. For caviar storage, 
selected caviar is placed on a rack so that water drains out of the caviar. Then the caviar is slowly lowered from the net into the bowl. In order to prevent destroying the shape of the eggs, workers are very careful when doing this work. Afterward, the eggs are marketed. They are then measured for weights. As a next step, the workers measure the amount of salt needed for the caviar to taste perfectly salty. And this salt is not like the salt we usually use on daily basis. Salt is then sprinkled over the caviar. After sprinkling the salt on the caviar, the workers mix it well, taking care not to break the caviar grains in any way. This caviar is then placed in a bowl that's wrapped well with tape so that no air enters the bowl. This caviar is placed in a bowl that's wrapped tightly with tape to prevent water from forming on the top of the caviar when refrigerated. A bowl of caviar stays in the refrigerator for about four hours. This time may vary depending on the temperature. After taking the caviar out of the freezer, it's ready to pack. They package it in different varieties such as small, medium, and large, and they're quoted according to size. This machine removes the air from inside the container and then shuts the lid at the same time, preventing the caviar from spoiling. Now, on one side, these 100 gram containers are ready for sale in the market. The taste of black caviar or sturgeon roe is salty, buttery, nutty, and sweet at the same time. On another side, when the large container is filled with caviar, a worker presses the lid so that the water trapped inside escapes. Then the container is permanently clamped by the machine. These are later leveled through a container leveling machine. There is a label on the container stating the name of the company, the date of the manufacturer, and the expiration date. Generally, the smallest container weight on the market is 30 grams and the biggest container weight on the market is 500 grams. These containers are then packed together in boxes, usually 6 to 12 containers per box. Now, these containers are prepared for sale in the market. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. For more of this type of video, stay with us.